so I know I keep stopping and putting more, making just like a lot of these videos, but I just want to let you know just some of the side effects that post-tubal ligation syndrome causes. Okay, so we have hot flashes, extremely heavy, painful periods, mood swings, anxiety, depression, sleep problems. I have the uh, sleeping... Um, sleeping schedule that I would have if I had a newborn. I'm up every two hours. It's ridiculous. I, I don't think I've gotten a full night of sleep since I've had kids, um, which now I should be because my t kids are teenagers, but still on baby schedule. Um, depression, it, it, yeah, terrible. Fatigue, I am always exhausted no matter what I do. If I don't do anything all day, I'm exhausted. If I work all day, I'm exhausted. If I, whatever. Uh, mental fog or confusion. I have baby brain. That's what it's called. And anybody and any person, woman who has had been pregnant knows what baby brain is. And that's where I feel like I am all the time. I can't remember words. I can't remember like two seconds, whatever. It's terrible. Uh, vaginal dryness, stabbing pains in your lower abdomen, um, extremely bad cramps when you have your period mine radiate down to my legs to where I can't walk um I've been in the hospital I don't know how many times for stabbing pains in my lower abdomen they say nothing's wrong nothing's wrong but obviously something is wrong if I'm in pain they can't prescribe me anything because they physically cannot see anything wrong um they make you feel like you are just insane there's nothing wrong with you there's nothing. I've been through MRIs, CAT scans. I've been through ultrasounds. I've been through X, any, every single kind of procedure you can think of. I've been through it in the past 13 years. Um, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing wrong with me. Um, things have been kind of good lately. Um, I haven't had any stabbing pains or anything. It, it's out of nowhere. It'll just come out of nowhere. Um, however, this morning I had a total meltdown in my kitchen because I woke up at 5 a.m. and about 10 years worth of crap just invaded my mind and I was in a corner in my kitchen crying. So, I mean, it's kind of like that. It's, it's your good one day and another day. It's it, fuck the world. Um, sorry for my language, but that's pretty much how it is. Um, so I, I'm just trying anything. I do mostly herbal things. I'm very, not completely organic, obviously. I'm very much in favor of modern medicine, but I do my own stuff at home. Um, I like my oils. I like having my own garden to where I can actually eat fresh, fresh food. I've got tomatoes. I've got peppers. I've got all this to keep... I'm obviously not completely body clean. I do smoke. I, um, I do use marijuana. Um, I've... I highly suggest marijuana for having at, at those times of the month. It is a big help. Uh, Tylenol doesn't help. Nothing helps. But marijuana helps me relax and makes me not think about the pain and everything else. So, um, and a bunch of people probably didn't know that about me, but it's true. And for those who do know it about me, hey, it's not a secret. But um, I am just trying to get through this and get the surgery and just be able to live a normal life and possibly have more children. And even if it doesn't work and I don't have more kids, that's totally fine with me, but at least my hormones will be back to normal and I can actually have a good life with my family and be able to have the energy to at least play with my grandkids when they arrive, whenever that may be. Um, but I just, it's it's a long battle like just talking like this I'm just sitting here talking and it's I'm pretty much pretty exhausted right now um it's it's insane I feel like I could just take a nap right here and I'm at work um I'm on my lunch break but I'm at work so but um it's it's not easy it's not an easy battle 
doctors have no idea it's very still controversial with them that this would even be a thing um they won't tell you everything i you can go ask you can put up a blog and put what are your reactions to tubal ligation and i bet you almost every well not obviously not every but a lot of women who have done this will tell you the exact same thing i am and probably have and definitely have their own stories to deal with it i found one that had her tube side for 20 years that it's pretty much the exact same story i've gone through um and i feel so bad for her because i know exactly what it's like and but it's 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 terrible and there are so many more um side effects and the ones that I've named off but in and I have had just about every single one of them maybe minus one one out of like 40 something side effects that this has given me so um that's what it is so yeah like I said before I have a patreon I have a gofundme if you'd like to donate that's fine you're not pressured to do it. I'm just trying to get awareness out there about PTLS and see how many other women go through the same thing that I go through every single day. And I've had it for 13 years and some people have had it longer than that. And all we're doing is just trying to get our life back. And this is a real thing, doctors. Doctors, you need to go back to school. Gynecologists, you need to go back to school and learn the side effects of these little things that you don't think matter, but they completely screw up other people's lives and everything else. Like I've almost lost, I almost lost my marriage to this um, because we chose to get my tubes tied. Nobody said anything about the side effects because obviously it probably wasn't that relevant back then, but you need to do a little bit more searching and inform your patients who ask for this um, and let them know of every single side effect that it is. And if you cannot have them be referred to somebody who knows what they're talking about. Don't just say, oh yeah, the side effects is that you're not going to have babies anymore. Yeah, obviously we got that one. What are the health risks? You don't give us those. Oh, there's no health risks. You just won't have babies. Great. We won't have babies, but what else are the side effects? What are the health results? Or what are the health risks? Because guess what? I also have very rapid heartbeat. Um, half the time I have to stop because I, I can't move. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, I feel like when my heart is beating, I could be sitting here doing absolutely nothing, being totally relaxed. And my heart will stop pumping, 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 pumping. And it doesn't stop for like an hour. I know I'm not doing anything. I know it's a side effect of my own thing. I don't do hard drugs. I don't do, I don't drink. I've got my coffee here. Coffee's the only thing I drink. And I have one glass a day. That is not enough to send my heart into a race. Okay, I feel like I just worked out for two hours by the time it's done pumping. So doctors, get your shit together. Go back to school. Do You don't even go back to school. Just do a little bit more learning on what this does to us women. Because guess what? We're the ones who push you out. You should at least have the decency to actually know what the hell you're talking about, about vaginas and that whole thing and hormones that go along with the vagina. Okay, so get your, you, you, you need to learn these things because us women who have this know more about it than you do. And you go to school for this. You went to school to become a doctor and, or a surgeon or anything else, or a gynecologist know everything before you say, well, that's the only side effect is that you're just not going to have babies. No, that's not the only side effect. It's not. You can ask anybody who's had a tubal ligation that has gone through this. They will tell you the exact same thing I am. We are angry. We are hurt. We don't want to deal with this anymore. And there's really nothing we can do without having to go have surgery, major surgery, to get our tubes put back together in hopes that it'll work and we get our lives back. I mean, some places it's $10,000. Other places it's $6,000. Other ones, it's one, but you still have to pay for everything else. It really just depends on the doctor. Half of the women go out of the country to get it done because it's cheaper. But um, 
please help your patients. Help your patients get through this time. If there's anything you can do, because now all of us women have tried everything to get our hormones back to normal naturally, and it doesn't work because we weren't told the side effects of the true side effects of tubal ligation surgery. So now we are all suffering because we were not told. And this is another thing, informed consent. Technically, we were not informed on all of this and really there's nothing we can do because we signed a paper saying we couldn't sue you. So it really kind of sucks to be in our positions. But um, this is going up. If you guys have any other questions, please let us know. Uh, please let me know and I will answer anything you have. Ladies, if you're going through what I'm going through, please reach out to me. That way we can swap stories, share what we're going through and maybe have a little support because not a lot of people understand what we're going through, okay? Love you, ladies.